Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill and welcome to Suncoast FYI. Today we learn about a memorial 5K honoring the life of a local student, plus an organization providing necessities for the homeless in our community, and a visit from Sarasota's original food tour company. The Andrew Monroe Memorial Scholarship Fund was established to honor a life taken too soon. Their annual 5K benefits local students while honoring Andrew's love of soccer. Here with more on how you can get involved is Andrew's mother and race director, Stacy Monroe. Good morning. Good morning. Another year has passed, yes. so this is going to be the seventh annual yes, race. Yes, seventh annual okay. Monroe race. And please share with our viewers again how this wonderful event came about in, in the form of such a tragic situation. About a year after Andrew passed, his father and I, we've been doing scholarships in his memory for Riverview Soccer. And his father said to me, how long are we going to do this for? And I had to become creative and say, okay. I'm going to do a 5K since Andrew liked to run and he played soccer and we'll generate funds that way. And that's how it all got started. And 2014 was the first race. And uh, obviously people should go to your website. What, what a beautiful young man. Thank you so much. Really, you can just see it. it he exhumed his, he had a smile that just yep. never ended. Yep. So I'm very sorry. No, I'm in a good place now. Thank you. Um, so, this uh, again is to honor his memory. When is the 5K race, Stacy? The the race this year is January 5th. It's on a Sunday, Siesta okay. Beach, as usual. Mm -hmm. um, it starts at 8 o'clock sharp with a color guard. Uh, the walk starts at 8:20. The awards are at 9:15. The after party is during all of that with Applebee's and Station 400 serving, and it will be all wrapped up by 10 o'clock. Wow. And it's taking place on uh, Siesta on Beach Siesta at Beach, Sea Turtle right at Pavilion. Beach. Okay. And the, the walk, is, is that a 5K walk or is it? They can choose to do whichever they'd like. Okay. It's not a timed event mm -hmm. like the run. So they can choose to walk the one mile or go to the one and a half and turn around and come back. Okay. And they can call or go online to register. They can go online to register at andrewmonroe.com. Mm -hmm and kick the registration button. Okay. And they can be individuals or they can create a team. Yes. And the team can be as small as two? Four? Four people. Four, yes. Four okay. people for a team, um, but generally people register individually. I have not had very, very many of any teams. Okay. Well, there's still room. That's there's a big always beach. room. There's always, always room. Always room. Okay. Now, what organizations does the race, the scholarships, I mean, is that what it is, you get yes. scholarships? I, the monies generated go to Riverview High Senior Soccer Athletes, and last year I had added JROTC, because Andrew was a cadet, and also track, and then there was club scholarships. So total, I've given away about 13 scholarships last year. Oh my gosh. 30 scholarships in total last year was the most. That's, that's amazing. And just to create But a, this year I did also add, I, I neglected to state, that any run club that signs up with more than 10, I will donate 150 to their run club at the school. Any school? Any school. Any school. Okay. Now, is there a, a, there's a cost involved? That's a team, yeah. That's a team. Yes. Okay. Um, students, under, I believe it's 14, it's $15, and anybody over 15, it's 25, and then the adults, yes. it depends on when you register. Right. If it's before, yeah. which this is airing after that deadline of December 19th, mm -hmm. it, the price goes up to 40. Okay. All right. But that's still, I mean, it's for The students will get cost. their price Regardless. all the way through. Yes. Okay. So you've given away 13 different. This last year. This past year. Who are some of the other? recipients 
We have also met the fund balance at the Sarasota Community Foundation. Um, so in perpetuity, there was two $1,000 scholarships. Mm -hmm. Uh, that went to two seniors, a male and a female, within Sarasota County. So they wrote the essays and were selected. Like, oh, good. Well, that's it. How do how do people? They his Andrew's coach had written down characteristics that Andrew had uh -huh. had, okay. and what I had done is requested a page essay telling us how you emulate any or all of those characteristics, mm -hmm. and they write it. I have five people all over the world reviewing them. They rank them, and then I deliver the scholarship money directly to their school. Oh, you do. Okay. Do you get to meet the recipients? Uh, most of them. Yeah. The Sarasota County one, not so much. The mm -hmm. Sarasota Community Foundation one, that just goes directly to the school. Okay. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers today? Well, this year, uh, the race has actually been chosen as a Minnesota Track uh, Racing Series race which means um, it's a run club that has certain races in their series and they all buy for awards and the highest runner in the age groups gets the um, awards. Okay. So, so there's awards given for? The, the Minnesota Track Club track. as well. Okay. So that's a big thing. And you've been sanctioned now? That's a sanctioned a race, thing. which means they approved my race and that it met all their standards. Mm -hmm. Well. Best of luck. I hope we have beautiful weather. As I always say, we'll ask Ju Justin. And that's going to be January 5. 5. That's a Sunday. Correct. Okay. May I add? Sure. I've raised 80000 in six years, have done those 30 scholarships, and have met the Community Foundation scholarships. So the community's money is being spent well spent. Well, you're doing such an amazing thing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you. Best of luck. Thanks. Just ahead on Suncoast FYI, we check in with an organization providing for the homeless on the Suncoast.